It's time for another edition of The Changeover for World Tennis Magazine. I'm Chris Lancet, joined today by Arena Falcone. Thanks for making the time for us today. No problem. I want to get straight to the big questions. <laughs> Playing on the women's tour, yeah. a lot of pressure. Yeah. How do you handle the pressure of being the funniest woman on the pro tour? It's pretty difficult. Um, you know, I definitely have a lot of people that uh, are looking out and making sure that I have some pretty clever response to almost everything I say. So I just have to be on top of my game, but it's, I mean, with WTA, I mean, it's just oh, awful. So do you have a team of writers behind you that are invisible to the human eye? Absolutely not. Just all the ones in my head. That's fantastic. Yep. Who makes you laugh? My coach makes me laugh. My cats. Your cats? How many cats? Yeah. Three cats. And do they ever join you on tour, or are they homebodies? Nope. They actually live with my parents, so I almost never get to see them. That's too bad. What are kind their names? Uh, Dino, Misha, and Pundit. Yeah, I'm changing something just a little bit. People love your blog. Yeah. Uh, and is it any Hooser or any Hauser? I want to make sure I have it. Any Hooser. It's any Hooser. That's a great transition. Thank you. Don't know what part of speech that is, but we love it. <laughs> I've gotten a lot of people actually talk about it, so that's great that it's hitting, you know, hitting home with that. What made you decide to be so open in what you do in that blog? Well, I definitely think that so many people are just so bored with the mundane. Oh, I hit cross courts today, I hit down the lines today. So I figured I'd spice it up a little bit. And, um, you know, it, it's fun to throw in a, a joke here and there. And people want to know what tennis players are about, not just on the court. You know, they want to know that they're people too um, off the court. So I just bring that into it. It's been fun, and I've got nothing but positive feedback. And do you find that by being open like that, you guys have to increase in your fan base because people have a sense of who you are? Absolutely. Um, actually, my goal is to reach Lady Gaga status of 25 million Twitter followers. I'm at a mere 2,000 right now, so almost there. Actually. I've got 10 more to go. Well, we'll work on that with more tennis magazine. Thank we'll you. get that tweeted out and awesome. try to help that grow. Awesome. We've got to change the subject on you a little bit. I'm from Atlanta. You went to school at Georgia Tech. I need to know true answer. Did your college coach never let you go to Fat Matt's Rib Shack up the street from your school? Team? Never been there. I've actually been told to go there, but I, I never went there. Do you eat meat or are you a vegetarian? I do eat meat. Fat Matt's, next time you go home, this is not a product endorsement, <laughs> but it is the best barbecue in Atlanta. That's what I hear. That's what I hear, so I'm going to hold you to it. What's been the most surprising thing to you so far about life as a professional tennis player? This interview right now. Probably. She's making me laugh, and I'm supposed to be the one with the straight face. Uh, Arena, I'm not quite sure where to go from there. No, so maybe... no, you're good. Let me let me go ahead. And um, probably the most surprising was um, I got to talk about Arthur Ashe winning on Arthur Ashe last year in the US Open. That's that, not surprising, but it was just so exhilarating, once in a lifetime kind of thing. So um, yeah, winning a match on Arthur Ashe is pretty special. What's one thing you'd like to improve in the next three months? I guess I can work on my sense of humor a little bit. That's, uh, I mean, you can never stop working on that. If you're ranked, and, and my movement on the tennis court, I guess. Yeah, a little technicality. I guess. If your ranking goes as high as your humor, you're going to be world number one before long. Yes. I'm going to end it there. I'm Chris Lancet for World Tennis Magazine on the changeover with the rambling rep from Georgia Tech. And Who's on the way? I'm an engineer. And I, and I was going to say, soon to be a sitcom star. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Thanks very much.